Yeah, welcome here on the YouTube channel of the KNX Association. My name is Tom Ledermann. I'm a German system integrator and I have also a YouTube channel on the topic of building automation, especially in KNX. And the KNX Association invited me to their Train the Trainers event here in the beautiful city of Ghent even though the weather isn't that good at the moment. But the hosts of this event are the Odyssey Technology Campus here in Ghent. They are also a certified KNX training center, so it definitely makes sense to host this event here. And we already took a look at the training center yesterday, as you can see here now, yeah, where students can learn about KNX and can also get their certification. But what's the train the trainers event all about? Well, the title suggests it. Here the trainers are trained. And it is the second time that this event is hosted, now as an international event. The first event was a German event. And here we got to see all the new topics that will arrive in KNX, especially with EDS 6.3. So for example, we had a little demonstration with all the different media types KNX offers combined in one yeah, solution. So we started with KNX Twisted Pair, then we added segment couplers, then we added Carnix RF Multi, Carnix IoT. So you see a lot of new stuff is happening here and I would say we take a closer look at it now. Yeah, so now I'm talking to Michael Critchfield, product manager of the EDS. And yeah, you sort of organized this event or the, the demonstration that we saw here in the last two days with all yeah, different kind of media types that KNX offers. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you, Torben. Yeah, I didn't organize this event by myself. I have lots and lots of support from my colleagues. Um, we also had too many factors here with us. Uh, and so we could really balance what we can show here. Um, we had four group sessions, um, like you saw. We started with KNX Secure over, over Twisted Pair. We extended with that with a plain segment through a media coupler and a segment coupler. And then we really went to what the future holds, right? We extended this by an RF multi segment uh, we have here a media coupler, an RF multi uh, media coupler, which is also secure, right? And then we added a um, RF multi heating valve from the same manufacturer. And of course, everything works, it being KNX, everything works with one another, right? And then the last group, and this is really why, where we saw some eyes opening, uh, the last group integrated KNX IoT devices, the first KNX IoT devices um, from the KNX ETS catalog. And so now, of course, we have really the full spectrum of KNX holes uh, right here on these two tables. And that was really nice. Yes, you can say it's not only a multi-vendor no. demonstration, but also multi-media yeah, type demonstration. Yeah, yeah. And what I found quite yeah, interesting or eye-opening, as you said it, is that the parameterization of the new IoT devices, well, in the EDS, basically the same like we know it. Yeah, the experts know what they're doing. Uh, devices still have an individual address. Devices need group objects and have group addresses linked there. So for them, very similar, very, very similar to what they know. Uh, now with the, with the one edition, okay, this is a new medium, right? So this is uh, KNX IoT over thread in this case. So you have a thread network uh, included in this IoT router and then you need to onboard devices. This is something new. Uh, this is manufacturer specific also, but on the ETS side, everything is the same as usual. Yeah, the logic part that logic in where end. Yeah. Yeah. Now to summarize this event, um, yeah, we also got a lot of feedback from the trainers itself and okay. took a look at the new ETS 6.3. Yeah. yeah, we used ETS 6.3 here, right? Because ETS 6.3 brings the support for these IoT devices. So of course, it's a beta version today. Um, we are on the path to release uh, in, in this winter time, so very soon, I can say. Um, and of course, there were lots of things that were added and that were changed and improved in ETS 6.3. So, um, Is there one thing that you say, I, I mean, the, the viewers obviously want to know hey, what is happening with yeah. ETS 6.3, what comes, but do you have one specific point where you say this is really yeah, a great addition. Well, yeah, next to this, the improved support for these new Radium types, IoT and RF Multi, there's one thing that I really want to point out is that the significantly improved licensing, uh, licensing of ETS, licensing of ETS apps uh, within ETS, the, um, and maybe the crucial, the most crucial feature that we, that we talked about a lot in these two days is the, the topic of passwords, mm. project passwords. And so, Projects with, that are secure have passwords, and, and the more you use of these, 
the more you need to manage your passwords. And so ETS 6.3 has a new feature available called the Password Manager. And with this ETS as an online tool in, or as an online connected tool now supports managing these passwords. And so the user has another peace of mind, doesn't need to remember all these passwords himself. And retype it every time. And retype it every time. Yeah. Yeah, so Michael, in my conclusion was definitely it was a really interesting event, a really great event to see all these new technologies come together. Thank you. thank you very much here for the invitation and your time for the interview. Thank you. Also the participants said the same thing. Yeah, so not the last time we will do this. Okay, so now I'm talking to your Stammerrest and we saw today and also yesterday that the demonstration here always got bigger with new media types but what was consistent through all of those was KNX security and with the IDS 6 now the introduction of security proxies which I think is a crucial part especially for retrofitting. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about those security proxy functionalities. Yes, yes, yes. of course yeah, uh, security becomes more and more important uh, also in regulations. Uh. So uh, uh, the EU is also working on extensions to uh, yeah, laws, uh, EU laws, and uh, which will impose cyber security. Uh, that's why the uh, old days of KNX where there was absolutely no security between devices or on IP networks, this, these days are long, uh, long gone. And that's why ETS 6, uh, one of the main features is, well, ETS 5 introduced also security. But ETS 6 introduces uh, security proxies. Security proxies are nothing else than um, devices actually translating uh, plain messages into secure messages and vice versa. So, so that you could, for instance, have a radio frequency uh, part of your installation, which of course is an open medium, mm -hmm. so you need to protect that. And uh, how do you protect that? Uh, well, by communicating securely. And uh, uh, if, for instance, this is a sensor, for instance, uh, but you would still like to communicate uh, messages to the wired part of your installation, then you need a translator that actually translates this secure wireless message into a wired plain message. Uh, wired can, can be less secured because it's buried in the wall mm. uh, and it is better, better protected against uh, actually hacking. Yeah, so you told us about the security proxy in the ARF media coupler, but it's also not only restricted to the media coupler, but also, let's say, if I have a twisted pair segment that is unsecure, for example, there are old devices that yes. simply can't speak secure, yes. but I need a secure segment that is in yeah, public, publicly yes. available, yeah, yeah. there I also have the secure proxy functionality yes. in segment couplers. Yeah. Yes, the security proxy uh, idea is not indeed not limited to actually uh, separating wireless from wired. Uh, indeed, you can also make or insert a security pro proxy as a manufacturer into a twisted pair to twisted pair coupler. Or you could even integrate it into a IP to twisted pair coupler. Uh, so to indeed Uh, for instance, if you have hotel rooms, for instance, which you want to isolate from the rest of the network, you could make use of, indeed, an IP to TP security proxy. Yes. I think the security proxy is definitely a big improvement for KNX Secure at all. Just thank you very much for You're your welcome. time.